through the sun. They just forfeit Gyarados, baby. Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Mucks. Let's get the Cinderace going here with the Toxapex. We're going to get out of there. I don't want to risk a Baneful Bunker. We do have the Focus Sash, so I want to keep that nice and fresh. We got the Rotom here. Very good. I'm going to go for Trick instead of just like Volt Switch. And they actually go for Surf, which actually works out into our favor that they don't switch. Because now they're locked into Surf. And we can just go straight for the Gyarados nonsense. That is going to do absolutely nothing with this puny special attack. And now the Dragon, because Gyarados is totally a Dragon. The Dragon Dances are coming. And Garganical, I already know they're going to go for the Rock Salt. Guess what? We're going to go Terra Type Ground Substitute. And that Salt Cure is not going to be able to break the Gyarados. And now the fun really begins. You can just see the utter panic as we Dragon Dance again. Two times speed, two times attack. At this point, I think I have to do it one more time because I don't think we quite kill just yet. And they take the life orb, re life orb recoil, and now the earthquake is just ba bam. I think they're done. The Moxie shoots our attack straight up through the heavens. Three times attack. This Toxapex is going to use haze. We're not even going to let it. We kill that sucker. Three point five, and that's it. I think. Right? Come on, get out of here. They got nothing. Well, 13 came to play, I can tell. We're going to lead off with our Cinderace here. They got the Breloom. I oh, they echo go U-Turn. I'm thinking that's a Zorark. I already know it's a Zorark. You, Breloom does not learn U-Turn. Even if it was Scarfed, I don't think it's faster than Cinderace here. So they do break the Scarf, which is really unfortunate here. So they do set up the Sun. I'm going to go for our lovely Cerulege here. I don't know if this is Zorark or Breloom. But either way, I guess we're going to find out. That is, oh, that is going to be a Zorark. But it does not matter. We hit the Bitter Blade in the Sun. And we kill. Illusion ended. Get out of here. Uh, my last last video was actually Zorark, tons of fun, there's like, the fun is literally unlimited, and I can even tell with all of their, um, all, all of their Pokemon are probably going to be called Zorark or maybe Zorark, that's really cute, I really enjoy that, so Club 13, shout out to you. They're going to go for a uh, Shadow Blade here, we're going to go for Bitter Blade, because we know with the weak armor that they are not, and I repeat, not Flash Fire, so that works out well. The Breloom here, the Mach Punch, no, no, we resist that, we're not Ghost, so we don't, we're not immune, but we do resist that, and we're just taking it out in the sun, and is this going to be a Cerulege Sweep? I doubt it, just because they, they have at least one more hope with the Walking Wake, uh, also, also Zorark, that's cute. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak here, just to get off a little bit of damage here, and this is actually really fortunate that they go for Draco Meteor, because now we can just go out for Tinkaton, and we get some free damage here. I know that, yeah, uh, another, hey, may, may bar Zorark, but the Iron Threads here is going to be quite formidable. We're going to go with this, and now the Earthquake, and we're in the Rotom, just takes care of that handily. Hydro Pump doesn't kill. Wow, we that thing is so bulky. A Great Tusk and Iron Shreds are so bulky, it's ridiculous. So we do bring out them, but I don't think they can really do anything to us. We're going to hit them through the Hydro Pump, and even in the sun, we take a big chunk of damage on the Torkoal. And this is just a, just a sacrifice move, so I'm not really sure what they're doing here. They're going to go in for the Walking Wake. I don't think the Walking Wake, even with the Protosynthesis, can save them. They do have the speed, and now that's... that's I don't think that... Oh, we do miss... We do miss. Let's not get let's not get too cute here. I have blown matches before. I know you have too. We all have. We have all blown matches to some crazy crap before. So they're gonna go for flamethrower here. I am actually not going to go for dragon dance because even with the protosynthesis, I think we're still slower. And this is just wonderful. They just get they just gave us the game effectively. Instead of going for like a, a flamethrower or something, they're just gonna go ahead and for this. I know they're thinking, they're probably choice and they want to get out of flamethrower. So here's the Hydro Steam, but the Sun, oh, well, actually, they're powered up in the Sun, but it does not matter. Our Gyarados takes the win. Let's go. All right, let's see what Gwyn the Cat's got for me. I'm just going to leave the Gyarados. I'm tired of that Torkoal. I want to do as much. That is a Zorog, if I've ever seen that. A Hyper Voice from the Pits of Hell. We're going to go for Warfall because we are faster. And there's that stupid illusion. Get the heck out of here. We get the Moxie going. We got the early Gyarados nonsense. I'm going to go for the Terra type. We want to swing this matchup. And that's a one-hit kill with the Moxie boost. It looks like we are going to get a sweep just like that. And Gyarados takes it. All right. So now that the dust has kind of settled on Terra type, how do you guys feel about it? Is it better than Dynamax, Mega Evolution, etc., etc.? Let me know. Great Tusk. We're going to go for the Pyro Bolt. We do not get the burn, but that is okay. I'm thinking that they either go for, well, it's got to be Earthquake or something or a Fighting type move. So, of course, we're going to go for our lovely Gyarados here. It's an Earthquake, and we resist it with our beautiful Sea Serpent type creature. They're going to go for the Torgo here. The Sun, I do not believe, is going to save them because guess what? We are Terra type ground, and we just get to do so many cool things with this. I'm going to go for Substitute, and you know they're either going for Yawn or if this was the National Dex, they have Toxic, I believe. I don't believe Toxic is on Torkoal in this generation. I'm going to go and Dragon Dance, I don't think they can do anything. This Great Tusk has Protosynthesis up with their defense, but again, I don't think they can really do anything. This Waterfall actually does a lot less than I even would like it to do, but guess what? That Close Combat, they are going to pay dearly for that with the lower defense, and I think I'm going to actually substitute again 
because I kind of want to just establish my dominance here, and let's, we're wasting the sun as well, so we're killing two birds with one stone. I am going to go for the earthquake here. We have that sun for three more turns, so the waterfall kind of sucks. They go for Encore. They thought they were going to be cute, and Encore is the Dragon Dance, and guess what? They do not have a flying type, or I don't think an air balloon as well, and with the Terra and all that power, even with the Protosynthesis through the sun, they just forfeit Gyarados, baby! This team's on to something. This team is really unique. I think they just got something going on. Oh, they just leave the Arbolivia. Okay, I'm going to go for Ice Hammer. Just kind of see what they're doing here. I know they want to get into that Harvest nonsense. There's the Substitute going up. Maybe I should have just went for uh, Gigaton Hammer there. We go for Encore on Tikaton. They're going to have to force to be able to use the Substitute. And that's what I kind of love about Tikaton. There's so many different things you can do. You can go like Mold Breaker and then just have like, you know, so you can break through Dundonzo. You can go for Encore. So I'm definitely going to be tinkering around with Tikaton a little bit later later in, um, probably maybe tomorrow, we'll, know, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I can never say this, we're just gonna say the big fish thing with the hands on its face. We're gonna have to get out of there, because this thing's way too bulky. They do go for Wish, which really sucks. I am actually, uh, it's tempting to go for Trick, but I ultimately elect to go for Volt Switch. They do frisk us, they're gonna get all that back. Let's go into our Gyarados here, it kinda isn't great. I guess we can, well, we <laughs> dodge a bullet there. Unfortunately, Gyarados' special defense is a lot higher than its regular defense, so we do kinda look out there. So it does do that. Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. It's kind of tempting just to go for the substitute. And they, whoa, whoa, they actually just get out of there. That is a little bit crazy to me. Because now you put out the fish with the two hands. I'm not going to pronounce that thing. We're going to go for substitute now. And there's no way they can break this. Chilling water. Oh, no, 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 no. This is Toxapex 2.0. Do not do this. We're going to sit here and Dragon Dance. They're, oh, you almost hate to see it. You almost feel bad. Oh, come on, baby. There is no chilling Gyarados in the water. Have you seen how big Gyarados is according to the Pokedex? This thing can destroy cities. It can do anything. It's dragon. It's dancing. It's partying. This is like the fourth or fifth chilling water. Guess what? It doesn't matter. At a certain point, oh, they don't even let us have our fun. Gyarados, for all you old heads out there like myself, Gyarados has been a menace since day one, gen one, and it still wrecks havoc today. Toxic Debris, no big deal. We're going to drop that Gigaton Hammer. I love Tinkaton. We're going to make some more videos with Tinkaton. I really want one kind of featuring her because she's so awesome. And that big hammer, I just love like the gimmick. A really well-designed Pokemon, in my opinion, with that big old hammer. Okay, so Rulage, I'm going to go for a Gyarados here because why not? Gyarados is the whole point of this team. We love Gyarados with the Moxie leftover set. Very unique. I'm going to go for Dragon Dance here. Uh, this is kind of scary because I don't... Thing. I don't think we can really live anything if they hit us with the flower trick and we do take neutral damage and we uh, I don't think we have to do some stats there. Oh, okay, they are life orb as well So I do think that plays a huge difference in the life total there. I did think I'd survive, but it is what it is Let's march forward with the Amoongus. We're gonna go for the spore It does not affect them because they're scratch type, but I thought they'd switch out which they don't I'm gonna go in for the cinder race here I know that it seemed a little bit weird to switch into like a frail type attacker But with the u-turn I think we're fine here And I, I don't know why the we they didn't they not have full speed EVs. That's kind of weird there Either way, we're not here to question it, we're here to dominate, baby. The Rotom, the Katal Cleave, yeah, it is what it is. And we're gonna go for the Hydro Pump, and yeah, it is what it is. It's not It's not really the end of the world here, I'm not too worried. Let's go for Tinkaton here, we're gonna take a little bit of Spikes damage, but we're gonna go for Play Roth, and I think they are locked into the Katal Cleave, and we, we're just gonna eat that, we are Fairy-type, and still does quite a bit, but we're still gonna get the kill here. They do. They opt not to switch out. They could've went for the Cerulege there, because they kinda knew that I was gonna go for Play Roth, so they didn't, I'm kinda surprised there. But again, we're here to dominate. We're not here to critique and help our opponent. We lose our Amoongus here. We're going to go for Cinderace. What do we do with the Cinderace? Let's just go for the Court Change here. I guess they can't use a Ghost-type attack. So I guess we'll go ahead and just do that. But now we have the Cerulege. They're going to go for Shadow Sneak here. We also can bulk up. And they didn't even take 50% of our life. And I think we're going to be okay. We're going to tear it into Bug. They're going to go for Shadow Sneak. We're going to go for Shadow Sneak. And they leave them with one percent which is outrageous i think because they are not flash fire we can just go for um bitter blade here but let's go for shadow sneak and they don't elect to go for shadow sneak even with their weak armor which is quite strange to me uh they actually go for close combat i have no idea why they might be full physical they don't pack moon blast because we just get a bitter blade off and now we've completely swung this match at this point i mean they can hit us with a flamethrower and i don't know. We're going to go for close combat because that's the best damaging move. They go for flash fire, but guess what? We're not just any ordinary bug type. We are flash fire, and that's good night to the walking wake. Love the walking wake, by the way.